Our second Marvel season is coming to an end which means it's time to have the discussion which Marvel season was better. Both of these seasons brought in awesome characters, fun mythics, a great fort nightmares, and an interesting storyline but only one of these seasons can be the winner. So we're going to be taking a look at which map was better, battle pass, gameplay, Marvel items, and which season overall felt more like a Marvel season. And before we get started I just want to say as a huge Marvel fan that I truly appreciate both of these seasons and it makes me so happy to see how many Marvel characters we have in this game. I mean, we have characters like Iron Man, Spider-Man, Mystique, Deadpool, or my childhood crush Black Cat, which is so cool. I could have never imagined any of these characters being in Fortnite back when I started playing in early chapter one. But with all of that said, it's time to decide which Marvel season was better. So be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code ToonSpider in the item shop, and let's get started. First, let's talk about the map changes and what Marvel locations we got during each of these seasons. I honestly liked both of the maps during their respective seasons. I felt the map changes in both seasons vastly improved the maps. In Chapter 5 Season 4, we got Doomstat, Doom's Courtyard, Castle Doom, and The Raft. The POIs themselves are pretty good, especially Doomstat and The Raft in my opinion. Three of these locations also had Mythics and Medallions, which made them really fun locations to drop at, and Doomstat had a Tony Stark Basement fan club. Something else that was cool about the map was the Fantastic Four logo that was fractured and partially in the ground near Doomstat. Castle Doom revealed which characters Doom had killed and Galactus's head was sticking out of the water. But I felt like there was a couple problems with the map during this season and it was the fact that nothing really changed or got updated until Fort Nightmares. It was also a little disappointing that none of the heroes had their own POIs. It was really cool that we got three new locations for Doom and it made sense but a hero base was definitely missing and if Doom planned on taking over the whole island why didn't he take over more of the locations throughout the season. But overall the new locations definitely improved this map in my opinion. And in chapter 2 season 4 we had some really good Marvel map changes as well. But the best part about the map changes is that they would happen throughout the season. And they had a strong Marvel feel to them. Doctor Doom had taken over Pleasant Park and named it Doom's Domain where there was a safe house with a vault under the soccer field. There was a large sentinel graveyard by Lazy Lake which was really cool because you'd be running, fighting, or building by these giant sentinels. Jennifer Walters had her own lawyer office in Retail Row. Quinjets would fly all around the map and land at different locations and at those locations were Stark bots and you could get Stark rifles and other really good loot from the Quinjets. Then outside of Holly Hedges the Ant-Man location appeared which was the perfect size for a giant ant and the collector had his own little landmark as well with Marvel memorabilia located outside of Retail Row. Then the huge update happened which brought in one of the greatest locations of all time Stark Industries. There was now a huge island stacked on top of the Chapter 2 island. The island was referred to as Upstate New York, and there was even a lake on that island called Heart Lake. And another fun landmark we got outside of Misty Meadows was a huge panther statue for Black Panther. So it's really hard to deny how great of a map Chapter 2 Season 4 was. It just felt more alive and had more personality to it, and it really captured that Marvel feeling compared to the Absolute Doom Season. So the better map in my opinion was Chapter 2 Season 4. Now when it came to the battle pass, I actually already did a video on which battle pass I thought was better, so be sure to check it out after this video. I go in detail in that video so you'll definitely not want to miss it. Both of these battle passes are honestly so good. I have them both in my top 10 best battle passes ever. Some of my favorite skins have come from both of these battle passes, but I have to give the edge to chapter 2 season 4. And a big reason why is because it doesn't have mashup skins in the pass. Captain Jones and Pilverine are cool skins, but they should have been released in the item shop. We should have gotten characters like Nightcrawler, Winter Soldier, Punisher, Elektra, Magic, the Fantastic Four, Vision, Quicksilver, I mean, I could go on and on with what characters should have been in the battle pass instead. Also, even though some gliders and emotes are only usable with the Marvel skins from Chapter 2 Season 4, I just like them more. Mystique's emote might be the greatest emote of all time, and it is easily the most unique emote. They just have more of a Marvel feel to them, and it was honestly going to be tough for Chapter 5 Season 4 to compete because the first season used some of the most iconic characters, and all of the skins looked really good. So like I said, I love both 
battle passes. I appreciate this newest one giving us characters like Shuri, Emma Frost, Mysterio, Gwenpool, but I have to give the edge to Chapter 2 Season 4. Both of these passes had great quality to them, but Chapter 2 Season 4 is just more iconic when it comes to the battle pass. For our next category, let's talk about the Marvel Mythics and items that we got in both of these seasons. In Chapter 5 Season 4, we got Doom's Arcane Gauntlets, Cap Shield, War Machine's Arsenal, Hover Jets, and the Auto Turret in the beginning of the season. Then throughout the season, we got Gwenpool's Dual SMGs, Shuri's Panther Claws, Iron Man's Combat Kit, and Flight Kit, and probably the craziest Marvel item of all time, the Armor of Doom from the Doom Island that would randomly spawn in the middle of the game. We also got medallions and mythics for Doom, Mysterio, and Emma Frost. This season had some really cool Marvel items and mythics. I personally enjoyed the Panther Claws, Gwenpool's Dual SMGs, and Iron Man's Combat combat kit. Emma Frost had a useful medallion and her burst AR hit insanely hard. And of course we can't ignore the fact that if you didn't have a hover jet you weren't winning the fight. These were absolutely broken for close range fighting. It was definitely hard to track people while they were up in the air boosting around the map. I think the biggest problem I had with the mythics this season is they didn't feel as marvelous I guess you could say. Three of these items all belong to War Machine and the items felt like they could really be in any Fortnite season in my opinion. Opinion. I felt like there was so much more they could have done, especially with characters like Emma Frost and Mysterio. Emma Frost has very unique powers and Mysterio is an illusion specialist, but instead they just gave us rinse and repeat medallions for the characters. And even though I really like Shuri's claws, it was so annoying trying to dash when you were out of stamina because it was based on your stamina. It should have been a 4 or 5 dash limit, then the timer starts and starts refreshing the use of your dashes, just like the Ninja Turtle mythics. But overall, they did a solid job with the Marvel Mythics and items this past season, but let's be real, Chapter 2 Season 4 really set the tone when it came to Marvel Mythics and items. They were very unique and had that Marvel feeling that you're looking for when superhero mythics are on the Fortnite island. We got Iron Man, Xenobeam, and Gauntlets, which I will say the second Marvel season definitely improved those items because they combined the two abilities into the combat kit. We also got Thor's Mjolnir Strike, which was similar to the Junk Rip. If an enemy was in the vicinity of where Mjolnir landed, they took quite a bit of damage. Storm's Whirlwind Blast was pretty cool because you created a windstorm around you which destroyed structures and knocked back players causing them to take a lot of fall damage. I also thought Black Panther's kinetic armor was super cool because it reduced how much damage you took then after about 20 seconds the kinetic armor would explode and cause damage to players and structures nearby. We also had Groot's shield which was a lot of fun to use since you rolled around on the ground with Groot practically protecting you so you didn't take damage while you were in it and you could actually be healed by the mythic while it was in use. Silver Surfboard was another great mobility item. It was similar to the Witch's Broom. She-Hulk's powers were similar to the Nitro Fist in close combat, except it had a dodge ability, and Wolverine's claws were similar to Shuri's when it came to close combat, but Wolverine's were more OP. We had the Doom Gauntlets and Mystic Bomb, which again, the new Marvel season did improve that because the gauntlets had both powers. But the Venom Smash and Grab might have been the weirdest Marvel item, but it was also so much fun if you had it, and so annoying if it was used against you. Chapter 2 Season 4 just have the better Marvel mythics and items, plain and simple. I like some of the Marvel items during Absolute Doom, but they really just don't compare to Nexus War. Which leads me into the gameplay and loot pool of both seasons. And I'm just going to get straight to the point on this, Chapter 2 Season 4 had the better gameplay and loot pool. Let's be real, a lot of the community has been frustrated with the weapons in Chapter 5. They really just don't compare to the weapons we had in Chapter 2. And for example, we had the Stark Rifle in both of these seasons, but it was was way better with hit scan in chapter 2 season 4 compared to bullet drop in this past season. I also felt the shotgun meta was better in chapter 2 season 4 because it was just the pump and the combat shotgun. So you had your faster shotgun and then you had your hard hitting and we all know the spaz shotgun just felt amazing in Fortnite and I love getting it in reload when I get the chance. We also had the scar, we had the burst, everything just felt better in chapter 2. There are some weapons I've liked in chapter 5 like I'll tell you right now the dual SMGs are awesome. I would love for those to be in chapter 6. I loved having the striker burst and the striker AR back. I think those are two of the better ARs in Fortnite history and they were a laser with a red dot sight. I really liked the new sovereign shotgun that we got in this past season. It was a shotgun that I would take the most because I loved the hip fire of it, even though I knew the gatekeeper was better. Overall chapter 2 season 4 just had the better gameplay. It just 
felt better. And I know it sounds like I'm just meat writing chapter two season four and I am. I think it's a top three Fortnite season of all time. So it was going to be really hard for chapter five season four to not only live up to Nexus War, but surpass it. It would have had to have been nearly perfect. And I still thought it was a solid season. Now, both of these seasons had incredible four nightmares. So I'm not really going to compare those like they were just both awesome. The Nexus War event was incredible, but I'm not going to compare it to a mini event that we got with Dr. Doom. Even though I was a little disappointed with that mini event, it was still cool. I mean, I really like both these Marvel seasons. I do think chapter two season fours was way better. I don't really think there's a comparison to be honest with you, but this was a good season for chapter five. Chapter five has been a little lackluster, but overall I had a good time when I played chapter five season four. Now the real question is, should there be a third Marvel season? And if you're curious about my thoughts on that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be dropping a video about that sometime in the future. Now, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you enjoy chapter two, season four more or chapter five, season four? What do you think is the better season? Like I said earlier, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, use code Spider in the item shop, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.